the government has set aside billions of dollars for a Kuro Shield plan to promote a so-called Taiwanese wave. That would see Taiwan's film and TV made inroads with audiences all over the world. A budget of 10 billion NT was granted to the plan in the latest revision to the development of the Cultural and Creative Industries Act. And private companies are joining the movement to take Taiwan's content global, with a new foundation founded by Zhonghua Telecom. It aims to attract creative talents from around the world to work in Taiwan's creative industry while gaining a larger share of the global cultural market for Taiwanese content. Taiwanese drama Ox Cart Trails tells the story of ordinary people in a farming village in the Japanese colonial era. It was nominated for nine Golden Bell Awards and took home two trophies. <laughs> Meanwhile, The Amazing Grace of Sigma received 10 nominations. The show about a cult was passed over, causing regret for Minister of Culture Shi Zhe, who attended the award ceremony. Everyone felt a bit regretful at the Golden Bell Awards this year because there were just too many good shows. That's a pity. What it means is Taiwan can definitely compete internationally. We need everyone to work together on our Kuroshio plan to really create a warm wave. The Ministry of Culture's Kurushio plan aims to give a helping hand to the Taiwanese wave. It's got support from the executive yuan with an approved budget of 10 billion NT over four years. Private business is in on the plan, too, with the Taiwan Creative Content Agency and Chenghua Telecom planning a cultural content industries foundation. We're gathering talent from all over the world in Taiwan to fly the Taiwanese flag and create the brand of Taiwan. We don't want to let others profit off our wallets or our brains anymore. We can market Taiwan to the world and profit from the wallets and the brains of others. This is a defensive battle for our cultural territory, and it's about the need for Taiwanese culture to be on the attack and seize the space. That's a very important target. Chenghua Telecom has invested an initial 3 billion NT in the foundation in the hopes of attracting other financial backers to support Taiwan's film and TV. Who knows, after the Korean wave, maybe the Taiwanese wave is coming next.